Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. Um, quick question. It, I'll actually, two quick questions about demo reels. Um, when you want to do one for character, um, obviously you don't want to be portraying anyone else's character. You don't want to say, well, this is my voice of no. you know, Dan Spider-Man no. or Michael's Cosmos. You want to come up with your own character. So what would you suggest when doing that um, I, to, to give a variety of voices? How many of us produce demos for people? Because I do. Any of us? No. I do. Okay. Well, everyone will have a different opinion on this, but I've been sort of trying to make sure that I'm giving the agents what they currently want. They have been around for 30 or 40 years. They have seen all this copy. They have heard all the actors don't do anything that exists. I, if the actor's up for it, I do improv. We go through and we figure out all the different characters that might be good. You keep it really short. It has to be a minute. Attention spans are super short right now. And you do, and uh, Andrea Romano, a very famous uh, director, told me it has to be 10 seconds each because you have to prove that you might be able to do it for 40 episodes. I've got to hear that that accent can be maintained, that that character can be maintained. Um, and do accents, but they better be perfect because there's people from all over the world that go to LA to, to work. And if you can't go to a pub in that country and be mistaken for somebody who lives there, don't even put it on your demo. Or turn it into a character. You can do that. So um, really only you're going to get six, maybe seven characters on there. David, do you, do you, are there certain characters that you try and concentrate on? I mean, to, Well, to I try on. to make it very unique to the person that I'm working with because everyone's going to have a Brooklyn accent on their demo. Right. And everybody's going to have a Southern accent on their demo. Right. So I almost try to avoid accents now and just go for interesting, quirky characters. Uh -huh. And we just, we have a, for me, I do like a couple hours. I'm not trying to sell my services here, but you go for a couple hours and just work it out or you have some training beforehand and find, get to know the, I get to know my client a little bit, and then find what's best for them. And what will, because it's, you have to be so good in Los Angeles to even get, a, get in the door. And that is your calling card to an agent, especially, and to a casting director. I did Star Trek uh, Into Darkness, the movie, and I was cast off my demo. You can still be cast off your demo far into your career, uh, but you have to be compelling. Every, every character has to be bookable something that somebody would hire. And, it, and if you have an agent listen to a full 60 seconds, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. I know one casting director that will, she gets 600 submissions for a video game. She will go to the middle of the submission and play two seconds of it. We can all tell if a character is working in two or three seconds after you've been doing it for years. You can just hear it, like I could hear it in the auditions last night. So you just have to make sure that whatever, wherever they go, they're going to want to listen. And you want to make sure that they don't, you, you don't have anything that you're sort of going, eh, there's no meh on there in Los Angeles. It has to be all great. And my second question is, how many demo reels should you make? Because Depends how much money you types. have. <laughs> <laughs> because they're, the, the, for, for me, the first one is character. That helps me get to know someone. But then they always expect you to have at least character and commercial. But there's audiobook demos. There's narration demos. There's the regional, um, you know, so you say you're doing promo. There's promo demo. There's so many you can do. I only have two. I should have more. I want to do a promo demo next. But I know some people that have six, seven, eight different demos. Not always necessary. Whoa. Sometimes people do a separate video game demo. That's really common now. I like to save actors money and try to combine them. But now I'm hearing more and more from agents. They want a separate uh, demo for video games. I have two. And the fashions change yeah, every do, year. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah, they really, sure do. It's really good if you have someone you can go to, like David, or someone else who will help you. They'll give you an objective ear. They'll let you know what is acceptable, what is not, and you can really use the guidance. And if you're going to work with any sort of a coach, especially if they have a lot more experience than you do, you got to throw your ego out the window. I had a, a client recently that it just didn't go well with them because they, they didn't want to learn. They wanted to just sort of do a, well, you always are doing a snapshot of where you're at now. That's a demo anyway. But if you can meet and be with somebody that has a lot more experience, they can guide you as to what is bookable and what isn't. Um, and for me, it's like, do I believe it? That's sort of the bottom line for me. All right. Well, thank you all very much. You thank bet. you. Thanks.